magic square is one of those organizing topics that teaches one how to study and learn while teaching the basic arithmetic fundamentals for elementary school. We are going to use reverse engineering to solve and understand the magic square. First, we will give you the solution. We will find triplets. Then we will order the triplets and then count the occurrences of each number in those triplets. And finally, look to see how the geometry helps us understand the solution and prove the answer that we get. To get the solution, remember it is easy. We put the even numbers in the corners, 2, 4, 6, 8, and then in reverse order, we put the odd numbers, starting at the bottom the middle, 1, 3, 5, 7, 9. Now, we go to step 2, where we find the triplets, first in the rows, then the three columns, and then finally the two diagonals. And once we find those triplets, we order them, first within themselves, and then all eight triplets together. Now, out of those eight chains, we begin taking the occurrences of each of the numbers from 1 to 9. We see that we have two occurrences for 1, two occurrences for 3, two occurrences for 7, two occurrences for 9. But for the even numbers, we have three occurrences for the 2, 4, 6, and 8. And finally, we have four occurrences for the number 5. We notice that in the corners of the magic square board that we can have three chains emitting from each corner, whereas in the non-corners we can only have two chains. And in the center we have four chains passing through it. Think about what you were shown. Review and think about again. We are going to set up the start and let you be the creative one. Come and visit the Exploratorium to get more personal lessons. Put nine ones in the first column. In the second column, count from the numbers from one to nine. In the third column, we put a number such that that number plus the other two numbers is 15. The first four rows can be thrown away since all the numbers are outside the range, leaving us with these five. Of those, the seven seven can be thrown away, and the last two are just repeats of the first two. We are then just left with two chains with the one in it. Repeat the process again with the twos, except this time we will find that we have three chains rather than two chains. There is a faster way of doing this if we keep our numbers in order. We start with the third number being 9, and making sure the number's in sequential order and add to 15. We stop until the numbers in the second and third column are the same, or are in decreasing order. As we can see, when we get over to the 3s, we'll be starting with 8, and when we get over to the 4s, we're already in sequential order. This way we get our numbers. visit us at the Math and Physics Exploratorium website. See more Math and Physics lessons. Or invite us to visit you at your schools or libraries. It's free for the residents of Dutchess County. Or send an email. Thank you very much.